Hello and welcome back to my channel. We've got our solo artist patron request for the month here. Not too many and they're all actually female artists, which is very cool. Uh, a lot of these are going to be new. Actually, the only one that we know from this channel, at least that I know, is Solji of EXID. Uh, so three of these solo artists are very new to me and are going to be a little bit different than we're used to. Maybe uh, from what I've read from these patrons uh a, a challenge i guess just from the music we might be used to so we're in for the ride together so i'm gonna be learning about these new artists you're gonna be learning about these new artists most likely so let's just have a good time with it so we've got four lined up uh today lee jung hyun first of all and then onion and then poor kim poor kim i've actually never seen that like for like in korean maybe it's just an english translation where p-u-e-r where how would you say that where kim and then solji from exid so first of all we're going to start with lee jung hyun uh this is a request from indigo so they wanted to send me something halloweeny uh this being very much in that aesthetic uh, she's very famous early in the 2000s for introducing techno music to korea and was known as the transformation queen for changing her look and style for each new comeback this mv that we're going to be watching today is from 2013 and is her latest musical release actually so it's been eight years eight years she's married now and is semi-active as an actress so let's do this thing man before we start let you know that you can request something of your own on patreon if there's spots open i'm kind of starting to cap and limit those so if there are spots open you could join a request on there but also we've got live stages on there uh album reactions variety shows tons of other extra content i'm posting like two to three things every single day now uh to try to catch up from my break that i took like a week and a half two week break in october so lots of stuff being posted now Let's do this thing. Lee Jung Hyun. The song is called. The song is called V. Just V, I think. That's that's what it says here. So let's do it. Let's go. This is from 2013. I'm expecting something very different from a few of these songs that we're gonna listen to today. Oh, this is already being set up like... A kind of classical horror film. Maybe she gets to show off her acting chops here. But with techno? Very cool. Miniatures are awesome. I like that. I'm feeling that this song is gonna switch on a dime really hard in the way it sounds. Oh, yep, yep. Oh, wow. This is reminding me of like the Russian techno pop radio stations I would listen to in Grand Theft Auto 4. <laughs> That's what this sounds like right now. Or were they German? I don't remember. Oh, this is so different. I like how quirky and weird it is, though. Okay. I do like how her legs are swinging, swinging like a clock or a pendulum. That's very cool. And the way that 
the acting is working into the song itself. This feels like a mix of, yeah, like, Trot and, like, the foreign techno songs I have heard. I haven't been many. Digging the visuals of this video, though. From what we've seen so far of these Halloween MVs I've been I've been diving into recently, Korea has this fascination of the of the angry, widowed, or dead bride. That's that seems to be a, a theme that we're seeing in these. But even her delivery here is very quirky. I'm wondering if she really does do like a more pronounced vocal performance every now and then. Or if this is kind of her thing. Oh my god, yeah. You I mean, you could feel that that trot aesthetic in this a bit. The sets are cool. Oh my god. And you can tell that she is an actress. Her facial expressions are amazing. Very, like, odd, suddenly provocative moments in this, too. We don't like that. We don't like that. Save yourself. Throw him outside. Why did he come to this house? Did he look at a note? Do we know why? You don't go to a spooky house on a hill. That's rule number one. Break right back into dance. Oh. Oh, she's getting married. She's forcing him to get married. This is her kink. <laughs> Oh, I dig MVs with a story like this, though. Oh, I, I thought she tied him to the bed. She tied him to her. <laughs> Straight back to it. <laughs> What a stupidly fun video. He's pissed. And now he's just he's just succumbing to it. Ooh, the way her makeup is and even like the the it's like the famous Hyuna poses. It remind a lot of these shots remind me of some of Hyuna's older videos. Just her like constantly just laying back like that on a bed or a couch or what have you. Hyuna's always laying down. Interesting. Also, yeah, like I said, very provocative. Hmm, huh, I dig that. Again, these are going to be different, I think, a lot of these songs that I'm not going to be, which I've come into this before, I'm not going to be pulling for these constantly, like, from my playlist. Oh, I, I need to, to hear this every day. But every now and then, you're kind of in the mood for something a bit more quirky, silly, fun, and this definitely suits that. Kind of how when we were listening to some older groups, uh, like, the, their quirkiest of quirky songs, like how I said with uh, Tiara's Lovey Dovey yesterday. Lovey Dovey is a song that I think is very good, but that's also one that I can't listen to on repeat. But every now and then, like, you, that comes up on shuffle, and you're like, oh, shit, it's Lovey Dovey. And you enjoy it. And this kind of fits that mold, too. I think the rest of it is just... 
yeah, the rest of it are just credits. So, yeah, that was fun. Interesting. I like the video, uh, and I like these kind of blast from the past uh, pieces um, of music from, from Korea that I definitely would not have come across on my own. So, thank you so much, Indigo, for the request. Now, we are moving on to An Yun. And this is from Dominica. This is going to be really different, Dominica says. Not like any other recommendation or request that you've gotten. Be prepared. And I'm gonna pr I am gonna. can't promise you that you're going to love it. So this is kind of a, a marriage mix uh, between traditional folk and pop with her new single, Changwi. Changwi. This time, she offers an additional twist. Uh, horror. Changwi is inspired by a Korean ghost lore of the same name in which a man killed by a tiger turns into a spiteful ghost that hunts for additional victims. Contrary to most songs about the supernatural that are based on human impressions, An decides to take on the role of the goblin herself. She narrates the tale from the perspective of a Changwi, who must seek out the next victim and exchange fates in order to die in peace. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, this is going to sound way different from what we're used to. So join me on this ride together. Let's do it. Changwi. Oh, I dig that. I am I think this is a lyric video, right? Kind of, maybe? Like it's one of the more, it's more of like an animated video, I mean. Oh yeah, you can hear that folkiness already. Which Korean folk clearly different from American folk. I think Korean folk in in a lot of like even like more Japanese folk, any kind of Asian folk music kind of to me at least has a that blend of yeah, it's beautiful at certain points like we're getting to right here, but also kind of creepy and that might just be the factor that I'm not used to this and we find the unknown or things that we're not used to unsettling so it might just be that factor but I find it some of this kind of creepy and I'm sure that's the intention here but this is beautiful this part those look like chickens Wow, this kaleidoscope view is awesome. Oh, see those like inward draws. Those are those are the parts of this that I always find a little unsettling. That that's Harry Potter. Oh no, okay. <laughs> that's where my mind goes. Oh, I like the backing chanting vocals. That is hell. Even this look here uh, reminds me of like, episodes of, of Dexter, like when they put the the blood under the the like Microsoft platelet thing. It reminds me of that.
Holy shit. Whoa. Okay. So that... That... See, look, she got a vinyl? That's what I always say. Why does K-pop not have more vinyls? She got a vinyl. Oh, I want there to be more vinyls. Um, but anyway, that is one of those things where I can absolutely appreciate the artistry and the talent that goes into that. Not something I'm going to listen to on my own time, basically, but I also think I would enjoy it way more as a live performance or like a, a, a stage thing. If that was part of a stage performance or a, like a play or some some kind of thing like that, I would enjoy it tremendously more uh, just uh, seeing her sing it live. But just it by itself, just the audio, if I were to like throw that on normally, wouldn't be something I'm gonna listen to. But I, like I said, I love being exposed to stuff like this. And also part of what I want my channel to be somewhat is not only you going and seeing songs that you know uh, and, and sharing it with somebody else, well, like Dominica is now, but I mean, those of you that are here that are watching this that don't know this song, uh, but also, yeah, experiencing things for the first time with me and seeing something you might not anywhere else. I don't know if there are a lot of reaction channels doing uh, reactions to this song. I'm just saying there might be some out there, but probably not a ton. Uh, so I think that is kind of novel and, and interesting. So thank you so much for the request. Uh, definitely fits the, the time because I thought this was kind of creepy. Uh, I think it's kind of meant to be as well, just based on the story. Um, but yeah, the, the animated video was super, super cool. I'd love to know if... It, actually, she's got 3.6 million views on this. This was released August 1st. But this is probably something that, yeah, if you scroll down the comments, largely, largely uh, only viewed by the domestic audience. Um, so yeah, for those of you that are not Korean, this is probably something new to you. So I think that's really cool to share. Thank you so much for the request. And now we're moving on to for Kim. This is a request from Alex. Not necessarily Halloween, but it is on the spooky dark side of things. And the artist's vocals are underrated, I believe. Hope you enjoy the song and have a happy Halloween. So for Kim, this is Manyo Mash. Monster Mash? <laughs> Ma Manyo Mash. Okay, let's, let's, let's do it. Probably not Monster Mash, but you know, that's where my mind goes. It's creepy. Just throwing mannequins in there, it's creepy. Creepy. Oh. Dig the guitar. Anything is pleasing also in MVs than someone slowly letting out smoke from their mouth. That's always like, it's always going to look good. It's always going to look good. Oh my god, I love the melody of this song's chorus. Why does it sound like something that would be played during a scene in like Kill Bill or something? Doesn't it feel like that? Uh, whenever there's a, at least back then when I would watch it, when I was definitely less exposed to foreign music, but whenever there'd be something like very contemporary and foreign, it, it would largely be in a lot of films like that, Quentin Tarantino films that uh, it feels like it just fits. Damn. 
like the sexual tonality of this mixed with them basically viewing a uh uh an electric chair like through through, through the the one way glass. I mean, those things would have to be one way, right? I don't think they have the person looking at those people like looking at them. <laughs> the way she's bound or was bound. Chorus is so good. Also, most badass microphone of all time. new meaning to pass the aux cord with all these tendrils reaching out I really like this song a lot oh I heard the garters what does mash mean? Oh, so I'm going to give more insight on the the full meaning behind this song. I really dug it. Oh, it was like super chill, but just awesomely catchy. It really did remind me of, of a lot of other songs that I really can't place exactly, but it just felt familiar to me. I really, really like that a lot. That was awesome. 2014? That sounds about right. Yeah. And also, if you want, I did some research before starting this reaction and looked up where Kim on Google Go to images. You're welcome. You're welcome, everyone at home. Okay, finally, we're going to close it out. Thank you, Alex, for that request, by the way. Solji is our last one from Hamilton, of course, per usual Hamilton, the EXID fan and Solji stan, of course. This is Solji's new solo song from her project group, The Listen. It is a singing and live variety show with other singers. They go around Korea and try to cheer people up because of Corona. The show is on SBS, kind of like Running Girls, which is amazing. If you guys have not watched Running Girls, I have three of the four episodes on Patreon up. I will watch the final one eventually, but I want to, like, save it because, oh, it's the best show ever. But instead of running there, a group that sings and releases music. So very cool. We're going to check this one out. Um, what is the name of the song? Project Group The Listen. I don't know if the name of the song is here because the entire clip is in Hangul in terms of the, the, the title. So we'll we'll see. I'll figure that out, but let's check it out. Oh, so it really is the whole... Oh! Well, there's Solji. Was that Sungi? Wait a second, what the fuck? Why did that look like Goen? Oh my god, dude. Her vocals are nuts. As usual, I'm not surprised anymore. Oh God, she that's oof, that's one of the reasons why I really do love her voice that she expresses that emotion so so like I guess you could say eloquently. I don't know if you could even use that term in a vocal sense, but it it comes across like very much so her emotion, her pain, w whatever she's trying to um, portray in her vocals. Just that delivery. 
Walking down the street. That's not going, but it looked like going, didn't it? It looked like going to me. Oh my god! What? Her straining, like, but the, the good kind of strain, like, she's projecting there, not struggling with it, but I love seeing the. Uh, just that uh, that pressure. I like seeing it in the throat. It really looks like they're giving it their all. Oh, how she transitions from those breathy notes to the power ones. So he's loving it. Where are the other people? She's definitely one of the better female vocalists I've ever heard. excels at the ballad songs really really does her vocals are just nuts her range is crazy crazy oh it says uh um on this on this view here it says hin so would that that the one with the short hair she was who we checked out i think last month uh hin i really like that song forget the name of it but you should check that out it's its own separate uh single video but i really enjoyed that this was very very cool uh, like i said one of one of the most impressive female vocalists I've ever heard in K-pop. She's like definitely way up there, and uh, I hope like she kind of. I don't really know if she's going to be in that lane to where she can succeed on like an international level, like a girl group would. But I could, I see her probably already. I wouldn't know, but. I would assume she has tremendous, tremendous domestic appeal and success. Uh, but I, I don't know if she's going to have that in an in international sense. Like the people who love her for probably know her from EXID and come from that. It's really hard to, re I think, capture an international audience as a solo artist, especially coming like purely as a solo artist. How many really are there that started not from a group that then left or did their own thing, but started purely as a solo artist? I know that's not Solji's case, but just as an, I'm just saying, uh, humor me. <laughs> How many started like that and have complete international appeal? Like not many, not many. You could probably name it on like one or two hands, right? I would think so. Uh, so. Maybe list them down below, but I, I really enjoyed all of these requests. Very, very cool. Uh, Solji, as always, killing it. Uh, thank you for all the ones that I definitely wouldn't have come across otherwise. Uh, let me know if you have seen these before or know more about these artists. Just 
Tell me more about them down in the in the comments below. Uh, check out my other EXID and Solji reactions down below. I'll list them in the description. Subscribe if you're new, by the way, and check out my stuff on Patreon. Like I said, I'm posting a lot live stages. There's a couple of EXID and Solji things on there. Um, uh, album reactions, variety shows. I'm posting quite a bit every day. So join us on there. Support me. Thank you so much. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.